getting ready to cook the pasta. Let's make the pizza dough and knead it with our hands. Chop the tomatoes. This is Miller and this is Rex, and today we're going to be making some tasty tomato bruschetta. It's an Italian version of an open sandwich and it's lovely as a fresh start or any meal. Have you washed your hands? Yes. yes. Brilliant. So let's yeah. cook along. Yeah. So what you'll need is a colander, a saucepan, a bowl, a baking tray, a wooden spoon, a pair of tongs, a spoon, some measuring spoons, some scissors, a fork, a sharp knife, a beaker and a chopping board. We'll also need a wire rack like this for later on. Rex, do you want to go through the ingredients with me? Okay, so ciabatta. Very good! The pronunciation is actually ciabatta, but you did really well there reading that, Rex. We've got some... Tomatoes. Olive oil. Yep. Pepper. Black pepper. What's this at the front? Ooh, that's a garlic. That is, and we have some... Lettuce. No, do you know what this is? This is an Italian herb. It's called basil, and this is our, one of our main ingredients for the bruschetta oh. today. We've already washed our tomatoes in basil. If you haven't, give them a wash now and we'll see you in a minute. Turn the grill in your oven onto high heat. Make sure you've got an adult for this. Rex, I'd like you to put the basil into the pot for me. Brilliant. And then what I want you to do is then snip your scissors inside the pot and chop them all up, but keep your scissors pointing down and hold onto your cup for me. That's it, really good. Miller, I'm gonna get you to now cut the tomato. So we're going to use our bridge and then cut it through the middle. That's it, push it down and then you have two halves. So there's one. And then we want to do another bridge, cut it in half, brilliant. And then we're going to use our claw like this, push back and do four nice pieces, there we go. Use the sawing motion, Miller. You'll find it easier if you actually cut through it rather than pressing down. Perfect. There we go. And then with this one as well. Well done, Rex. Good work. I'm going to show you how to do a fork secure with the knife. Because sometimes the tomatoes have got lots of liquid inside, it's also another really easy way of cutting a tomato. So what we're going to do is stab it with the fork at the end of the root, and then we can actually just cut across that way. There we go. So now we've got a few more tomatoes to chop, so it would be a really good time to press pause and finish them off. So the next part we need to do is actually the garlic. Because vampires don't like garlic. No, they don't like garlic. They would just go... <laughs> right, Grex, can I get you to do the bridge over the top of these two pieces like this? So you've got your fingers on one side and your thumb behind, and then slice it in half for me, because we're going to rub the batter uh, afterwards. Thank you very much Rex, that's fab. So what we're going to do now is combine it into the bowl. So Miller, could you please put the tomatoes in? Do you want to lift it up and slide oh, some yes, of it in and then use your hands to guide it? I'm guiding you to the light. You didn't guide that one. Or them. <laughs> no, I didn't. There we go, fab. Look. Let's get those extra pieces. No, Go on then, you put yours in then Rex, put your basil in. Yeah, do you want to use the fork? Are you using your fingers? That's fine. We also need some olive oil, just to mix it through and give it that lovely Ooh. taste that bruschetta has. Olive oil, olive oil, olive oil. That's enough? Brilliant. And Miller, I'd like you to put in about three really good twists of black pepper for me. Really you hear the good. crunch? Yeah. Just to season, it brings out the flavour of the tomatoes and the basil, lovely. We'll give that a bit of a stir, mix it up for me. In the meantime, I'm going to cut open and sort the ciabatta ready for toasting. What we're going to do is actually slice it down the middle, cut through. We're going to cut it in half and cut it in half. And then we'll cut it in half again to get equal amounts. Does it smell good? Can you have a little sniff? Ah, oh, brilliant. So, I'm going to put the ciabatta under the grill, ready to go golden and brown. So the next step is we're going to actually heat up the tomatoes in a saucepan. Miller, can you put the tomatoes and all the juice into the pan for me? 
Oh wow, look at that, it's filled the pan, fantastic. So this will take just about five minutes to warm through. It allows the olive oil to warm up and soften the tomatoes. Whilst the tomatoes are cooking, we're going to get the bread from underneath the grill. First of all, we need our cooling rack ready. Use your oven gloves to get the tray out of the oven. And then we're going to use our tongs to put the bread on the cooling rack. Rex and Miller, I'm going to give you a piece of garlic each to rub over the top of the ciabatta for me. So you need to hold the piece of bread in your left hand and then you need to rub over the top with the garlic. And if it's all covered, then you can go on to your next piece. <laughs> well done. Are you finished, Miller? Yeah. Brilliant. Let's pop those ones on the board and you're done as well. So we're going to get the tomato sauce from off the hob. Oh, it's ever so warm. So I'm going to get Miller to drizzle the remaining tablespoon and a half of olive oil over the top of the bread. There's one. Woo! Now do you want to drizzle that? Now go gently so it covers all the bread. There we go. So, Rex, we need to now top the top of this bruschetta with the tomatoes. If you hold the handle and use the wooden spoon and then use a spoonful over the top of each one. <sighs> there we go. Miller, your turn. There we go. Let's move the board closer. Mm, that smells so good. There we go. Wonderful. If you'd like to have a go at another recipe, there are more cook-alongs for you to explore. We'd love to see what you've made. Take pictures and tweet them to Eat Happy Project. Hashtag Let's Cook Along. Do you have lots of fun, Rex? Yeah. Miller? Yeah. Hope you did too. Ciao! Bye.